Welcome back everyone. Today we got a full day of heavy machine operating. I got the Airflow 9000s on today. That's what you wear when you're in the old case tractor with no air conditioning, but it's actually a beautiful day out here. We got a catastrophic grease tube. <laughs> we got the grease monkey over here. Oh, you reloading the old girl? She popped loose on me when I was in mid swap here. Oh my God. Luckily I saved the day. Dad's getting in the mower. I'm gonna be up in the backhoe. We're going up to our rehab property, Marble Gulch is what we call it, because that's what the map says from years ago. So that's what we named it. And we're gonna go up there. I'm gonna be picking a rock with the backhoe. We're also gonna take the grader up there behind the gray pickup, and then we'll hook that to, we got an old case tractor up there that we'll hook that on. And then probably grade some areas, grade some dirt back into some holes where we pick little rocks out of and also pile all the rocks in a couple big holes that we dig with the backhoe. Some of the greasing I do is just what I call topical greasing. If the grease dirt doesn't want to take it, I just kind of give a little around in that area and hope for the best. You'll wish you would have had grease is what I tell it. We're heading up there right now. It's mainly CRP. We hayed up there this summer, but uh, the CRP was released, you know, and then it's like, you can do it for free. So we're gonna go up there and cut uh, like 60 acres of CRP. You say Dane's gonna be doing some digging. We gotta get the backhoe home because I got a water tank to put in uh, and I got three culverts to put in around here. We gotta do what we gotta do up there and we're never gonna get it done. It's just something we work on a little bit in the spring, a little bit in the fall every year, trying to catch up. Hydraulics on a pickup. What a beautiful thing. Load up. Load. Load, Sparky. Good girl. It was a good day yesterday. We got, the hay was closed. We hauled, but it was, uh, we must have did almost 200 bales yesterday afternoon. This is it. There's three little chunks of CRP to cut. This one I think is a, it's like nine or 10 and that one's gonna be like 15 over there and then 40 up on that side hill. Anyways, I'm gonna put this thing into go mode and we're gonna start mowing. It's actually pretty green yet because we've caught some rain and it's been fairly cool. I mean, the, the first stuff is obviously dead and dry but it's a lot of green stuff coming underneath. we made it down here to rehab property marble gulch and uh as you can see over there you can't really see but we got the box scraper on the pickup we're gonna get that unhooked dad's mowing right now we're gonna hook this box scraper up to this old case agri king right there i think that's probably dad's first tractor ever one of his first but we're gonna hook this up then we're gonna go do over the back i'll get that greased up jump in there hopefully everything starts for us and uh we're gonna start digging more rocks and burying rocks and holes. What a beautiful rig. Oh yeah, bud. Nothing to it. Bingo. 
go. Here's the old girl, the old Ford Baco. I'm gonna get the grease gun. Probably try to grease it from over there without falling in this hole right here. And then we're gonna ram some of these rocks in here and then continue picking this side hill. See if this old girl will fire up. probably push most of these rocks in with uh, the loader on this thing and then maybe I'll keep digging this hole a little bit here. I think I'll widen this hole out right here probably. like any typical CRP there's some really good spots where it looks like regular hay and grass and then there's other spots where it's kind of rough and weedy what I've learned so far is that we need to bring the skid steer and use that to push the rocks in the hole because this thing is It'll be 10 times faster if we use skids here. And I also learned these holes need to be a lot bigger because there is a lot of rocks. So I'm gonna dig this hole out. gonna fly the drone up and go check on dad over there mowing. Well, it looks like he just started on the back piece of CRP there. He's working on that. We're gonna run home, eat a little lunch, bring him some and bring the skid steer back in the flatbed. Well, we were gonna take the flatbed, but I forgot that there's a bucket on the flatbed for a new machine that we haven't got yet. Coming very soon to the channel.
this dump trailer is handy, but with this skid steer, it's a little too small if you have the forks on to fit it in there. So you got to have it hovering out like that. It's a little scary. One time I had the forks full of junk up there, posts, and I was just mobbing. happened she's leaking man them hoses all need to be replaced they're all cut and cracked up what a mess man we just got going i didn't bring the bucket down here i just brought this uh... so we're gonna jump in the tractor with the box scraper and just see if i'm able to most of these rocks are out over here so just gotta see if i'm able to scrape the rocks and kind of just roll them in there and roll them by the holes. It's too bad, this thing works just about perfect for these rocks. Well, we're back in this unit. We're not really getting anything done with that thing, but I'm gonna put on the pallet forks on that skid steer, pick some more rock, be semi-productive at least.
breakdown action here. These mowers, when they hit something, like a rock or a big pocket gopher mound, then they'll break away. Well, this style, when it breaks away, this gearbox has to go with it. So that means this shaft here has to pull, pull out and forth. Luckily, I thought it was gonna be broken, but the roll pin just got spun out. So this is an easier fix than I thought. Thank goodness. Pretty uneventful fix. The backhoe is out of hydraulic fluid. Dad said he's gonna be ready to quit here in about two or three more rounds. Pretty sure we got most of the rocks picked out with the skid steer. Oh, so many rocks, man. Great. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this freaking rock picking and driving around day. We'll catch you in the next episode. Don't forget to hit that like button and stay tuned for some more content. Peace.